Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part nine of our series of session on the cost center feature of Tally Prime. So in this session, we will learn an advanced feature of cost center where enabling that advanced feature, which is called as cost category, the businesses can now allocate the same amount to multiple categories of cost centers. Let's go to Tally and then explore this beautiful feature of cost center category, cost category. To understand cost category, let us take a business case of a company as per the previous video. The company had two branches, one Bangalore branch and Mumbai branch. In the previous video, we learned how to track cost of each of the department. Now, the company wants an additional tracking system to track expenses apart from branch allocation. They would want to further allocate those expenses to departments of the organization as well. With the cost center feature, we experience that an amount can be allocated in proportion to various cost centers once. Let us take the previous video's example. If you recall this slide, the salary expenses of 10 lakh in the earlier video we saw, the allocation being made to each of the respective department, which is a cost center amount pertaining to those departments. The same amount further cannot be allocated to parallel unit or cost center. In this case, say branches. How do we handle this requirement? To address this requirement of businesses, Tally Prime has advanced feature called cost category. What are cost categories? Cost categories are parallel set of cost centers where an amount of expense or income in the voucher can be allocated to more than one set of cost centers. Let us see an example now. Here we are viewing branches and under that we are seeing Bangalore branch and Mumbai branch. And there is another set where you have departments and under departments you have sales department and service department. The branches and the departments are cost categories. Under branch cost category we are seeing two cost centers which is Bangalore branch and Mumbai branch and under the cost category of departments, we are seeing sales department and service department as cost centers. Now let us take an example of a transactions for cost center allocation for parallel categories, which is branches categories and departments categories. What you see here is the company has incurred expense towards training of their sales staff of Bangalore branch. Now the company wants to track the cost of the branch as well as for the respective department. That is, the amount of 1 lakh needs to be allocated to the branch of Bangalore branch and at the same time, the amount needs to be allocated to the respective department of the department categories. Now you will observe that an amount of 1 lakh is being allocated to one set of category to the respective cost center which is Bangalore branch and another set of category which is departments and to its respective cost center of sales departments. With the help of cost category, we can achieve this need. Let us now move on to tally and learn how to achieve this requirement. We need to now create two cost categories. To create cost categories, we go to masters and then click on create. You will notice here there is no menu or option for creating cost category. So all you have to do is come here and select show more and press enter. So once you click on show more, you are now going to get the menu for creating cost category. Select cost category and press enter. Read this message. 
tally has predefined cost category as primary cost category which is there in the background tally wants to know do you want to retain this cost category as primary cost category or do we need to alter this with our own category name so let us select alter existing so that we can rename this primary cost category as one of our category which is branches or departments so i'm going to click on alter existing so we see this name all we need to do is just replace it with branches you will see two options here allocate revenue item by default this is set to yes and allocate non-revenue items which by default it is set to no in the upcoming video i will cover in detail this option of allocate non-revenue items and its implication or advantages of setting this option to yes so we can save this just press enter or you can press ctrl a to save this category the next category that we need to create is departments rest of the option will remain same so you just press ctrl a now we need to create cost centers under each of these categories to create cost center you need not have to go back on the right hand side button bar you will see this button F10 other masters. So when you click here, Tally will again show you the list of accounting masters that you need to create. So we come down here to cost center. In the cost center creation screen, observe that there is an additional field to select the cost category. By default, it picks up the first alphabetical category. Here we need to create two cost center. One is Bangalore branch and the other one is Mumbai branch. Let this cost center be under primary. Again, control A. So we have created two branches under our branches category. Now we have to create two departments under our department category. So how do you change it? All you need to do is just press backspace and when you press space bar tally is going to give you the list of all categories and if you have not created the ca your intended category you can always go here and then create the category from this screen itself so we are going to select department and here we are going to create two departments now let's quickly go to the chart of account and view the structure of our cost category and cost center under the branches category we have two branch as cost center and under the category of departments we have these two cost centers now we need to pass the transaction we have to debit the training expenses which i have already created so i'm going to select training and enablement expenses now notice what happens the moment i enter one lakh the cost center allocation screen is open but if you notice here now it is asking you for the cost category and the cost centers under those respective categories so when you press space bar tally is going to give you the list of cost categories that has been created in this company so let me select branches enter and now when I press space bar, Tally is going to list out only those cost centers which have been created under the category of branches. So in this case, I'm going to select Bangalore branch, enter and the entire amount gets captured automatically. The user can always do a partial allocation based on the need. In this case, the entire money is spent towards the training of their sales department employees of Bangalore branch. So we are selecting Bangalore branch and allocating the entire 1 lakh rupee to Bangalore branch. Enter. Now next tally is asking you what is the other category that you want to now allocate to. When I press space bar, tally is going to list out the second category that we had created here. The branch category, since we have already allocated, it is not getting listed again. So we have to now select departments, enter. Now again when you press space bar, you will notice only the cost centers under the departments. Since this expenses is towards sales department, I'm going to select sales department and automatically it gets allocated. Again, partial allocation is allowed for each of the categories cost center. Important message you have to remember is that Tally will not force the user to allocate to all the cost categories. Since we have enabled cost center for the respective ledger, Tally will ensure that you are going to select at least one category for allocation of cost center. The user needs to decide whether the user would want to allocate that expenditure or income to the other cost categories or the cost centers of other cost categories. 
what could be the use case let me give an example so in this example we have two branches and two departments have been created so the organization is very keen on only tracking the expenses related to these two departments let us say there is another department where accounts and finance department is there and the organization do not want to really track the expenses pertaining to that particular department hence they are not created the department of accounts and finance if there is any expenditure pertaining to accounts and finance definitely the organization would want to track to which branch this expense has been incurred so in that case they can select the bangalore branch or the mumbai branch since they have only two branch in case of department they do not want to track that expenses after allocating to that particular branch in this example now they can select end of list and then come out without allocating to the second category because that is not required by the organization that is the reason why tally will ensure that the first category has to be selected and the cost center allocation has to happen the second is optional so the user or the business owners have to be very clear in capturing this data properly with the different categories that they have created only then they will get their intended objective achieved save this so we will notice that the same amount of 1 lakh gets allocated to two different cost centers of two different cost categories credit the payment is made through hdfc bank enter and i'm going to accept this let us view the report now there is a allocation of 1 lakh and in the department category also there is an allocation of 1 lakh and it says to which cost center of the category this amount has been allocated i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can utilize this wonderful feature of cost category for your organizational requirement in the next session we will cover the same cost category with yet another example where again we you can see how these cost categories can be used from a different view point so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much